All right, we're back here. Welcome back to Beamer Sun Garage. Today we're getting a little nostalgia here. We're getting a little history of the little town of Georgetown, Ohio. This house here I'm showing, this big, big brick house, was built by the guy of the name of uh, Jesse R. Grant. This house was built by Ulysses Grant's father. And this is where the great general and former president of the United States, Ulysses Grant, lived. So this is an add-on here that was added on years later. But this was the original chimneys here. And it's super cool. And over here is some memorabilia. Tells you about the great president, the great soldier, uh, the great general. Land of Grant. He was born in Point Pleasant, Ohio. And there's uh, some stuff about him right there. Uh, he loved horses. Um, he grew up here. This is his childhood home. Uh, he was born in a home in uh, Point Pleasant, Ohio, where he was born at. Then his father moved the family to Georgetown, Ohio. And so that's the home right there that his daddy built. And over here is a stone that Ulysses Grant actually moved as a very young man with his uh, team of horses. And he moved this stone from the creek, uh, the bottom of Georgetown Hill there, up to the horse, uh, actually up to a, a doctor's house. And it tells it right there. When he was a boy, he hauled this stone from White Oak Creek, unassisted, solely by himself, and it was uh, sat at the doorstep of this man's house for years, uh, and he was a doctor uh, that Ulysses Grant hauled us for. He was the local doctor in town, Georgetown, and he was the only one that could do it. No one else could bring it to him, and that's the stuff I was standing on. I mean, it's, you know, he touched this stone. His horses, he had chains around it. I'm standing on a historical you know, a very historical site here that, uh, you know, the great Ulysses Grant. And there's some chunks missing right here. This thing was in another spot, and that chunk of rock was there, and now it's missing. So somebody's got a, a piece of Grant's rock. I guess they grabbed it up, fell off. You can see where it broke off here and there, here and there. And then another piece broke off, and they, they uh, cemented them back, but they didn't cement that one. So whoever it was... That helped along with the moving of this and the preservation of it. Because this has been moved uh, at least twice. From the home it was sitting in originally. It went to a cemetery. I saw it eight years ago in a cemetery. Then they brought it here to his childhood home. And it was now it's missing that piece. So someone's got a piece of the rock. <laughs> but here's his backyard. So here we are. You know. At the most famous general of all. Grant. The one that won the Civil War. So this is historical. Here's the back side of his old house. And he grew up here. And he lived here until he was 17 years old with his mother and father. And Jesse, his father, uh, had a tannery business. And so what he did was he, uh, he worked uh, at a tannery shop. Ulysses did as a kid. And there's the marker right there. Ohio historical marker, USS Grant, boyhood home. This is his childhood home. He grew up in this home. His father was uh, lived in this home from 1824 to 1839. Jesse R. Grant, his father, built this original part on Front, uh, Front Water Street. And now, of course, it's called Grant. It's called Grant Avenue. This place remains... Uh, until the age of 17. Grant stayed here until he was 17. And at 17 years old, he decided to uh, enlist in the West Point. So at 17, uh, he got tired of the, the tanning business that his dad had, you know, got and was, you know, working. And there's some more. Boy, it's a tall building. Look how tall that is. And I haven't got a tour yet with the COVID-19 uh, it's hard to get uh, a tour in here right now. It can be done. But I thought I'd show all my subscribers and my viewers some of the rich history out here in Georgetown, Ohio. 
and over there is a tannery but that's where he worked at across the street here without getting ran over and we'll see the tannery so that's where they skinned animals at and they you know cut the hides off of them and that building over there and they dried the hides and they sold them you know so they made leather products and whatnot out of the hides after you know the hides you know they dried them out so there it is there people the most famous man that ever lived ulysses grant him and lincoln come together and you know they stopped the slavery so hats off to him hats off to of course lincoln he you know he paid for with it with his life you know they killed him over it i just think that is just so neat you know the the grant the family the family childhood home he moved out of here when he was 17 uh he went to uh west point became a great general that he ended up being he also became president at 47 years old he became president of the united states so it's just ironically we just lost a president he lost an election and then they brought in a new guy and i'm doing this video uh i guess because of the uh you know the presidencies it just went down uh and uh i wanted to show them really the one of the greatest presidents that ever lived you know this guy here was you know he was something i'll tell you he was adored by you know uh hundreds of thousands of fans throughout the land after the war was over and he was sent gifts from all the fans that appreciated you know what he did you know the work he did and you know the the labor of love he did to uh you know make the south uh you know quit and uh you know confederacy the uh great general uh lee he uh he beat the pants off of lee and you know, made him give up and uh of course they did and then he ended up becoming uh the president but before that he had given he was given gifts from all the people all the he had all kinds of fans i mean he had oh god he had thousands and thousands of fans and and they sent him cigars and an appreciation and they knew he'd like to smoke cigars so unfortunately for grant he he made it a a personal mission that he was going to smoke every one of them cigars that he was given so he took all the cigars that he could get and he smoked every one and the man got throat cancer and you know cigars don't have filters and uh you know i mean they do got filters you can't put on them but you know nowadays back in them days there was no filters he ended up getting throat cancer he moved back to uh, Bethel, Ohio, where he died. And uh, we lost a great general, uh, U.S.'s Grant, to throat cancer. That C word, I, I've been talking about that in a few, in a few other videos. I hate that word. Uh, life in the 1800s uh, was work, work, work. You know, there's the tannery back in the day. That's what the tannery looked like. And you can see right here, uh, work to scrape the hides and then remove the flesh and hair and dirt and and Grant was expected to do this messy hard work, and he didn't like it. He didn't like the, uh, you know, uh, skin in the hides, which I don't blame him. That wouldn't have been something I would have liked to do either. I don't know if I could have done it, but, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, different era. I, I probably could have done it. I probably could have skinned some. I mean, I could skin a buck. I could run a chalk line. <laughs> you can't, you know, a country boy can survive, you know. I'm a country boy. But there he is childhood home another uh momentum they put there uh another stone they put there talked about him a little bit 18th he was the 18th president of the united states of america and this is his childhood home and around the corner is his uh childhood schoolhouse so we're gonna go around the corner and we're gonna see if we can pick the schoolhouse up oh hold on people we're going for a ride <laughs> I want you guys to see this. I came all the way out here. And, you know, I'm going to show it. Oh, boy. Somebody likes to listen to music. I guess that's me, huh? Okay, so let's go for a little ride uh, from the house. Boy, look at that place. That is something. It's cold. I'm freezing, you know. My what off, guys. <laughs> It's like 30 degrees out. It's a little warmer in the car now, but. 
but we're going to leave the childhood home. There's his backyard. Them trees have been there for years and years. Right around the corner here is going to be his childhood home. I hope we don't get hit by a car right here. <clears throat> now we're going to go to his childhood schoolhouse. I believe this is the way to the schoolhouse, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is the way to the schoolhouse. <laughs> These houses here, a lot of them have been here since the Civil War. So this is some really historical, uh, significant uh, houses around here. Uh, we're going to dart out and dart out on the road. We're going to... We're going to do this. We're going to get over to the childhood home before we run out of time on the camera. We've got 10 minutes. We're into this video here showing you guys one of the most... There's an old home from Civil War. I wanted to buy that home. I didn't get it. I ended up getting another home instead. But and now we're at the childhood schoolhouse of Ulysses Grant. We're here. We're already here. So we're going to get out, we're going to go around, we're going to show the, uh, the childhood schoolhouse uh, that he was taught in. So there it is, Ulysses Schoolhouse, historical site, it's on a landmark site, uh, and there it is. So there's the childhood home, or childhood home, there's the childhood schoolhouse that Grant learned to, uh, you know, read and write and he learned all his basic uh, fundamentals right here. Uh, and we can see a little bit inside. It's kind of fancy inside for something that was made back in the 1800s. Grant Schoolhouse State Memorial built 1829. And uh, he was a young boy. He attended... Uh, uh, classes here between uh, 1829 and 1835 so he went to school here for uh what five six seven years so he went to school here for seven years it's super cool the old cobblestone uh for uh you know sidewalks they had in those days <clears throat> and here's the front room where all the kids would be at and there we go check that out Yeah, fireplace. Look at that. That's what they had for heat. And <laughs> old fireplace. Check that out. And that's that's super cool. Okay, we got to see it. We got to see Grant's uh, childhood home, and now we got to see where he, uh, you know, learned his fundamentals at. You know, as a, I guess a, as a young boy, and he left here. He went to, um, I suppose he went to West Point at 17 years old. And then that's where he became, the, you know, the great uh, general, you know, learning everything he could learn. Boy, this goes way down. Boy, look at that hill. Boy, if you lose your footing here, you're going to end up way down in there. I wouldn't want to. It's got air conditioning. Look at that. They pipe air in that whole house, that old schoolhouse. And there it is. So there's the schoolhouse he learned how to, uh, you know, read and write and, uh, Boy, that's old. Wow, look at that. And his other home that he was born in, as I mentioned earlier, was uh, Point Pleasant, Ohio. Well, it's a little ways from here. We'll do that another time. We're not going to be able to show that uh, today. But we will show you where he was born at, the great general Ulysses Grant. And that's it. So there's the schoolhouse, historical site. On this spot right here is where he learned to, uh, that was weird, something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm spooked now. I heard something like a gunfire or something, like a bus. There it is again. Yeah, I'm out of here <laughs> before we get shot. We're glad to be here, but. It is cool. I do like it. But we're going to end the video right here, guys, at the uh, Grant Schoolhouse. And uh, we appreciate you. And uh, please like, tag, share, follow. 
Uh, check out our friends uh, Scott Speed Shop uh, on YouTube. Uh, all the friends uh, that we have on there too. Uh, we have uh, a guy called uh, by the name of Jamie Phillips. He's got a YouTube channel called Actions Auto Parts. He's out of Kentucky, uh, Stanford, Kentucky. He's got some cool stuff, uh, car parts, cars. You know, he's got it all. You know, he's out there in Stanford, Kentucky. Check him out, uh, Actions Auto Parts. Jamie, check out Jamie Phillips, and check out all the stuff he's got, all his videos. Great guy. We love Jamie. Jamie, uh, we, we hope you get better soon, sir. We know you just had some uh, major, major surgery or something there. I know you, you know, I hope you get better soon. I, I know you're getting around. You're doing better, and we wish you uh, the best, sir. And also check out our, our friends at uh, Wilson's Auto. It's uh, Wilson's Auto and Truck Repair. They're on uh, Facebook. Check out their Facebook page. Uh, Scott Wilson owns that business. It's a good friend of mine. Scott Wilson from uh, from Bethel, Ohio. Uh, that's where Grant ended up living at and, and moved to and, and spent his last days. He never came back to uh, uh, Georgetown, Ohio after he left here at 17. He never came back. His family moved to Bethel, and that's where they, they lived at, which is about mm, 15 minutes from Georgetown. So they, they settled back in Bethel when they didn't ever came back to Georgetown. Uh, I don't know why. I never did figure that out. But, you know, there's probably some kind of books. I know he's got some memorials, uh, some stuff he wrote down uh, as he was dying of cancer that he, you know, had wrote uh, numerous books uh, and told, you know, I guess, you know, the rest of the story that I'm not able to fill in for you. But that's it here at Beamer Sun Garage. We're at the uh, Grant Schoolhouse. And uh, check us out. And remember to uh, like, tag, share, follow. And subscribe. Hit that little bell button down there if you want to see a, you know, cool video like this. You know, showing some, you know, cool landmarks here that we're showing today here. Grant's schoolhouse. And, of course, we just showed you Grant's, uh, you know, childhood home. So, you know, check out them people. Also, uh, we want to give a shout-out to our friends, uh, Richard Crocker, Crocker Auto Parts. Uh, he's out of Eastgate, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, you know, I live in Ohio, too, so he's a friend of mine. Check him out. Uh you need some Chevrolet truck parts, car parts, check his uh his, his uh, uh business out. Uh, his phone number is 513-752-8602. Ask for Richard. It's him and his son down there running the business, little Richie and, and big Richard. And uh, like I said, all the other ones I mentioned, you know, it's, it's Beamer and Sun Garage and all the ones I mentioned and the rest, you know, are us forever and the rest never. So check us out and we'll see you next time. And remember, you know, Hit that like button and, you know, leave a comment. And uh, we appreciate you. And we'll see you next time at Beamer and Sun Garage. Thanks, thanks much, guys.